another day and another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching prison break this is the seventh episode of the first season hopefully you guys have been enjoying it so far if you'd like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just clicking it put the password in and enjoy so last episode personally for me was the best episode of the season so far and it did end with a to be continued which hopefully today means that the last episode in today's was shot continuously which means all the craziness chaos and action from that last episode will come into today's and it will just be as good you know basically michael needed a 24 hour lockdown or even longer but it was a 24 hour one uh, to be implemented so that he can have more time in his cell so he could break through and obviously work on this escape the reason why he's obviously behind schedule so far is because obviously he lost sucre and then he's come back and then everything just derailed it all with his transfer and stuff like that and basically what he was saying is he needs it so that they all stay here so he can spend more time in the cell more time obviously behind the wall and trying to escape so he's ended up turning off the generators turning off the air conditioning system whatever you want to call it and it's now a big massive sweat heat box all prisoners are writing, they're all not happy with it, they've all started fighting the, the COs, they broke into their area, you know, they've locked the prison down, one wing can't get to the other one, you know, the doctor, she's locked in her side, um, you know, looking after the patients, you know, these people, Bellic, are on this side, Michael's using this to his advantage, the craziness is going on, he's gone through the wall, and him and Sucre, like, drilling through it, basically, the tattoo of, like, I don't know, a devil that was kind of on his arm he portrayed it onto the wall and then he was saying if he drilled into the two um you know the two tips of its horns two tips of its teeth two tips of its eyes and two tips of its chin basically it would create like an x thing and that would portray like a weak spot where they could bash through it and then they could get into the tunnel which would lead them right to the infirmary and help them do their escape so it's quite clever but one thing that he didn't take into account is all of the people writing and no other than t-bag ended up grabbing one of the guards beating him up throwing him in michael's cell out of all the cells who ended up falling onto the sink and he's seen their hole now he knows that basically they're planning an escape he was going to let it out before obviously john abruzzi come over grabbed him said you better be quiet now he's ended up obviously arguing with them and basically saying if you beat me up i'm going to tell every single person in this prison what you are planning or you could cut me in and it's our escape together so it looks like he's part of the plan now literally very very interesting can't wait to see more of that but we ended the episode basically with more people fighting the doctor you know i thought they gave a bit of respect to her because she helps him but no they took out the guards they wanted to take her out she's in her office they're bashing trying to get in somebody's already tried to smash through the window she stabbed him and hit him with a syringe and he's passed out but obviously she's being attacked michael's climbed onto the roof he could see it happening he's looking over through her window but she's there on her own scale in the corner in a different wing from everybody else so very interesting stuff that's going on exciting and i can't wait to see more action in today's episode thanks for checking it out if you do enjoy it please smash the like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Surely someone in that helicopter would see him on the roof. Back in? Not yet. We cut the water off about an hour ago. Stink alone should drive him out of there. You think that's gonna work? No, but it's protocol. What's happening in there? We got some demand! We need the AC! We got a hostage. We got a hostage! The new guy! They got Bob. That girl's doctor. Tell him we got her. We got the girl, Doctor! How the hell did that happen? How did they get their hands on her? Well, we gotta get her out of there. Somebody's got to go in there now. We can't do it, sir. It's not by the book. What we're saying here, Michael's gonna save her and she's gonna know that he's trying to escape, but she's gonna let him because he saved her. Schofield's in here? Where's he gone? You ain't gonna use that. Breaking up the rules now, is <laughs> they? It's my house. You got a problem? We all did. No problem. I'll be back. Don't worry, CEO. All right. I'm not gonna hurt nobody. I'm part of the team now. Oh yeah, they're going to DC, aren't they? We need to focus on the real question. Who wants to turn instead of dead? At any rate, we land. We meet my guy. Even if we don't find the person who tipped off the cops, we find his phone. You just got to hope that can carry your body. Do you know what I mean? An old system like that. I don't know what his end goal is. I know he's trying to save her, but I don't know how it benefits him. Governor, you 
you should know since our conversation, the situation has escalated for Dexter. Just Knight. cut the crap, Warden. And tell me where my daughter is. And we got here Tyler Robert. Oh, this here must be your daughter. Put it back. Prom? She ain't come home that night, did she? No, she wore that all night long. It's so Next weird, morning. but it's so good. Yeah, throw that dress in the trash can. What the hell are you doing? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, uh, talking women. You ain't gonna hurt this man. We're locked into this thing. And he's still the leverage we have. Do we have an understanding? I'm on your side now. It's going with the flow. <laughs> you let me know when you're done with your uh, leverage. We're going to this, right? I've got to say, I have to say, it's early on in the show as well. We're only on episode seven. But the casting of Teabag and also this Abruzzi, Straight away being really good. Now, I know that obviously Michael is the lead character and obviously it's about him and Lincoln right now and they've been in it more than the others, but the positions and the roles that these people are cast to play, even Sucre, for example, his roommate, the way they just personality-wise for the role that they've been given has been so good so far. You know what I mean? Like, they play it so well and it makes me excited to see what we could potentially give them. You know what I mean? Because this storyline currently is dead simple. Just break out of this prison. What is it when we get outside? There's three seasons. Now, I don't know if we're going to drag this over into other seasons of The Escape, but personally, I would like to escape this season. I don't like dragged out stories into other seasons. I like each season to have its own objective. You know what I mean? Its own story. And I would like the next season would be everybody to go their own separate way from getting out of here. Maybe somebody gets caught, they need somebody, you know, they run back to help them. They're all in it together. Do you know what I mean? If you talk, we go down. If we talk, you go... Do you know what I mean? Like, all of it. It'd be interesting. But this and last episode have been good so far. Oh, they're gonna start a fire. I mean, you can easily put that out. It's not exactly a big fire, is it? She's got no other choice but to go. There's so much smoke in there of that book. Have to put your trust in him, aren't you? You know, he saved you from them. I was saying that, maybe she don't speak up because he actually saved her, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Where are we meeting them? Georgetown in a parking garage. What is now being called a full-scale riot here at the Fox River State Penitentiary. Should we go back or keep going? <laughs> you gotta keep going. What are they gonna do going back? They're not gonna help anything. Stand there with the rest of the people who aren't helping? What are you doing? We have to go, come on. No, Dad might be in trouble. Your father's already in trouble. There's nothing we can do about it. He gets very uncomfortable with this thing. Just God please. forbid, man. Leave me out of this. I am leaving you out of it. Leave That's... me alone! Get off me! You don't talk to me. Stop it! Stop, boy. Stop. I don't think LJ is that his name. He didn't do anything wrong. You love that man. Do what I say. Where's this guy snuck off to? Why am I going on Lincoln's neck though? You can see that he was getting strangled before. That was decent. You make him hold us with an egg beater? I know, crazy, huh? Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just won't give in. Don't be so negative. I don't know how they're going to bash through it though. What are they going to use to actually bash it? Things should be winding down around now. Pretty soon the powers of V will break in and. I'll be over. I'm surprised didn't ask how he's up there. Do you know what I mean? How have you got to this position? You ever been to Baja? There's this great place down there. 20 bucks a night. Beers are 50 cents. 25 cents at happy hour. Michael, if you're trying to calm me down, you're doing a terrible job. <laughs> Why are you here? What do you mean? Crawling around in the ceiling, risking your life. Needed help, and uh, I came to find you. One of my first assignments on PI, we were up here cleaning out toxic mold. Took days, so I'm kind of familiar with the layout. Do you reckon she was testing him there? I don't know. Has this guy not got a pin in his knee or something? <laughs> There's a hundred degrees in there. They're almost out of water. We are trying to avoid doing anything extreme. Look, I don't care if it takes a massacre to get her out of there. Do you understand me? See, the thing is, right, let's be honest, before we go into it and see the chaos hopefully unfold, like. 
he is doing it by the book, it seems, Pope. And I would think that people even above this governor would see it as that's the correct way. Like, his own daughter's life is not more important than everybody else. Basically, he's putting his personal agenda and priorities first instead of the health and the well-being of... God knows how many other people are in there. Do you know what I mean? Just because they're criminals doesn't mean that they don't have their own rights. Do you know what I'm saying? And, like, he's being selfish and just thinking about him and his own family and not everybody else and theirs. You know, he's just said if you have to go in and slaughter everybody, that's what it takes. That's fine, as long as my daughter's out alive. But you can't be selective pick and choosing. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of what Bellic was saying to him before, you know. He said something like, it's not by the book. And then he was like, well, we can't go in and get her. Do you know why? Because it's not by the book. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, they are going to go in there and they're going to fight and it's going to be interesting. Maybe they don't even get back to the selling time. Who knows? But I am firmly going to believe that um the doctor she's not going to say anything because michael did save her and maybe it's what brings them closer down the line she might help them actually escape now um but also i kind of think that bob is that his name the ceo that's in the cell might actually die i know that he's got a kid and all that i mean trying to make us feel for him and it is pretty tight but at the end of the day like you can't really uh, michael can kind of put his faith in her that she doesn't speak but she only knows that he's escaped to get her she doesn't know where he come from and what he's doing where this seal does he knows that he's there and they can't put their faith in him of their escape and obviously lincoln's life technically on the line for him not talking so it's gonna be a tough one with him look there close and now <laughs> see how he zoomed in and he said then fast forward in <laughs> Yeah, he's like, maybe Michael gets some points for saving her. Maybe she says that he was in the hospital wing. I sent you a letter earlier this year. My views on penal reform. Warden Pope's a good guy, don't get me wrong. But he doesn't understand that sometimes you got to grab the situation by the gonads and take control. Give me that. Is this the last hole? I don't know. Have... Give me that thing. Demolition runs in the family. I was off now. They're coming in, you reckon? The sweating's decent. Bad skin. Oh. It's just like all them girls who made fun of me. I'm gonna crawl out that hole and call me up a limousine. And me and your baby's going to the prom. You should listen to Captain Bellic and gas the whole block. But you better pray that Sarah gets out of there in one piece. Do you know what I've got to say? I hate people like this governor who name drops people. It was clear that it was supposed to be a conversation kept to the south of the to, to both of them. Time to put this theory to test. It's all yours, pal. Bash it. <laughs> Look at them. It's dark That's in there though, you can't see. Number eight. Affirmative. I've got him in sight. You have to go. That's tough that. She needs to get in the way herself and block it. She actually really does. That's the only way that she could probably save him. I mean, they're going to do it a different way, but if she just, like, kind of opened the body up and kind of, like, blocked him and hooked him and then lowered themselves to the floor kind of, like, together, do you know what I mean? He could stay down and then she could get out. That's what I would do anyway, but they're probably going to come up with a better creative way to do it. Oh, they got him. <laughs> they got one of them. Mate, Michael was lucky there. The guy actually did take the shot as well. He didn't even hesitate. Nice ride. Like that? Cop auction. You must be Veronica. Whoever tipped off the cops about Lincoln Burroughs, call from this number. Any one of the million people who pass through here every day. That's empty. Federal Energy Commission, that's interesting. Hey, there's a region. Someone watching them. Company called Echo Field. Darren Stedman's company. Gotta play a game. <laughs> Someone's definitely watching them. Who, who is this? That's a problem, Veronica. Yes, too many questions. Is Lincoln Burroughs really worth it? As of now, both of you are dead. Whoa, 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 Things have changed since we last met. Relax, partner. I'm in on it now. Final warning. I got back in my cell and tied a sink back up. Where have you been? Pull over. Are you all right? Yeah, are you? Yes. He's walking. That's a good sign. Suit observation. Maybe you'd like to share that with the governor. See, the Pope seems to be a nice guy so far, but he needs to establish his dominance as well. Do you know what I mean? He needs to punish him for doing something. Come on, are you alright? Are you okay? There's nobody that is forcing you to be here. You're not gonna kill him. 
<laughs> it's over. We don't need him no more. You're not gonna kill him. You so stupid. You gonna let him walk out that front door? That is for you to start. See, he knows his address. That's the thing. Brandy Star. Yeah. There you go. But I feel like he might chase after him and kill him anyway. He just don't give a shit. He just does whatever he thinks is necessary. He's mad. Mate, I think it would have been enough to know that everybody knew where you lived and, you know what I mean, don't put your family at risk, but then again, I get the other side. Why'd your department assign inmates on PI to do a toxic mold removal project? I didn't. What toxic mold project? In the, uh, the crawl space in A-Wing. PI, I didn't know that. Okay, sorry. No problem. Do you know what I mean? She's already made a mind up technically that she's not going to speak. You know what I mean? She could have obviously released this information prior to finding that out and prior to potentially finding out that obviously he's uh, planning an escape. You know, the question that she should be raising is where was you at the time that this riot started and how have you actually got into the ceiling and managed to get to my location? Now, yeah, okay, he said that he was in there and he seen the monitors, but it doesn't mean that you actually know the layout of the building. Do you know what I mean? Like, I could see you there across the bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, it looked like they was on a total other side of the building. And personally, it didn't even look like the buildings were connected, like, to each other. But take it for what it is, he's crawled through the vents. Now, I was going to say, me, it looked like you stood on top of a ceiling tile. And, you know, I work in construction. I was going to say you say to you, mate, there is 100 million percent factually no way that that tile would support their weight. But then he said he was stood on the pipes and I was like, okay, then I'll let that slide because if the pipes are tied in decent enough, maybe it can hold the weight. He still potentially would break them, but we'll go with it. Do you know what I mean? It's a TV show. Now, obviously, he's pulled her up and they've escaped and he's helped her and he sacrificed his life and somebody died, it looked like. Anyway, the guy that was obsessed with getting her, literally, the guy who was obsessed, he ended up getting shot instead of, obviously, Michael because he moved out the way quick enough and he hit him with the bullet. Now, she's questioning him. She's thinking about it. She's trying to figure out what's actually going on. I don't feel like she's going to tell anybody and throw him under the bus, but I do feel like when he's coming in for his routine schedule to get his dosage, and obviously he's crossing with Lincoln because she's helped him last episode and said that, that they're going to organise, you know, them kind of be together in passing, that she's going to raise more questions. Like I said, I feel like the more they establish their relationship with each other, the more that he's going to use her to get the escape going. Now, it's going to be really interesting because, like I said, she is the uh, not the warden, but she is the governor's daughter, and he doesn't want her to be in that location. He doesn't want her to be in the prison. Do you know what I mean? But she does, and um, you know, it's up to her technically. She wants to go back to work. I reckon that she will do. I reckon she likes it, but it's also scary at the same time. Again, T Bag is very interesting. Great casting. I don't know if I said that in this episode or the last, but him and Abruzzi and um you know especially sucre all three of them for the roles that they've been assigned to play are doing it perfectly so far very entertaining for me obviously michael's really clever and i like his stress strategy do you know what i mean i do like strategists and planners and you know when they do something i'm like wow that's really really clever but he's not really doing much acting if that makes sense like the way um you know, the way T-Bag is sat in front of the, the cop and he's obviously saying about his daughter and the way he's going to get her and the where he lives and just the, his mannerisms and his face and the way he talks. It's great acting. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I reckon he's the best character so far in terms of, like, I don't know, entertainment, if that is a word for it. But, like I said, mate, you know, he's going to kill that guard. And I reckon, personally, that having the information, knowing that all the inmates know technically where he lives now, know that he's got a little kid, you know, a daughter or whatever, know his family and all that, that that would be enough for him not to talk. But then again, it's unpredictable. You never actually know. Once he gets on the outside, he could actually say that and ask for them to get maybe put in a max prison somewhere that you can't have contact with the outside world. You never know what's going to happen. And he's obviously taken that himself, um, you know, T-Bag. He's like, look, mate, potentially I'm getting out of here. You know what I mean? This guy now is a threat. I'm going to take him out. Do you know what I mean? Bam, bam, bang, threw it off. He's dead. So, you know, he's a crazy one. He's very entertaining so far. And I can't wait to see more of obviously them and how they escape. Okay, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Very crazy, very chaotic again. You know, the interesting thing is what I never understand is the fact that, yes, I understand that they're writing, but like, why would you damage your own area? You know what I mean? Like, all the inmates are in there setting fires, throwing stuff out there, ripping stuff up, you know, like damaging their own kind of facilities. And I don't really get that because the only people that are losing is them. And it's technically what you say all the time, isn't it? You know, I'm not like blaming homeless people or something, but you see it quite a lot of times here in manchester and maybe other locations where like people will open a building for like homeless people to stay the night 
and then after a couple of days it's all smashed up and you know like broken down and all the windows are gone and it's just like why is it that you're destroying something that's good for yourself do you know what i mean and it's like these people here you know this is their cell and technically they're only causing damage to them the wardens are not ass you know the, the ceos they're just like whatever's you know what i mean you have it you damaged it you know you ripped your bed up you broke it you've ripped your pillars up i'm not giving you any more that was your choice you know what i mean i know that they've obviously attacked them and ran through the prison they get breaking everything else and all the machines and all the doors and you know what i mean try and burn stuff down but not their own personal space it was mad in there and obviously you know throughout all that chaos and commotion that guard bob has been let go and um you know t-bags basically managed to sneak in while no one's looking stab him a few times and just launch him over the top of the balcony you know what i mean another person that's obviously been launched off the top as well is the person that was trying to kill uh lincoln now obviously he's gone in and led him into that piped up area do you know what i mean where all the spraying's happening and all of that and he's tried to strangle him and he's managed to actually fight him off now i do like the makeup that was on his neck to be honest later on obviously when he kicked him off that little ledge and he landed on the floor and he was asking who's trying to do this to me you know he did have those marks there and it's pretty good you know i do like the consistency of the actions that people undertake and then again you know you go all the way up until the doctor you know what i mean michael's climbed through the ceiling he's pulled her out there sneaking their way through now obviously he's told her that she, he understands how to maneuver around the ceiling because he was up there doing pi and she's figured out at the end that he's obviously chatting which i mean i don't know why she cares that much but obviously she's trying to figure out what michael's up to to be honest and like i said i feel like she's gonna figure it out sooner or later but not really expose him maybe she actually helps him because she actually realizes that he's a nice guy and he's only in there to help his brother do you know what i mean uh but with that one do you know what i mean michael's expressed this and then they've tried to obviously like escape and the people come after them and tying in with consistency like i said i like it his last episode when he was in the bed she was talking to one of the guys saying that in his knee it was only held up by a pin and in today's episode, you know, while he's trying to fight him, she's kicked him in the knee. You could see he's gone down in agony and pain. And that is what I do like to see. Now, again, you know, Michael, he's had a red dot put on him. Guy's got a sniper. He's ready to take the shot. You know, the governor's come in. He's not really bothered. He's just like, go in there, save my daughter. I don't care about anybody else. Only me, me, me. And Belly's obviously gone over and said, look, mate, if I was in charge, I would have done the same thing. A bit of brute force, you know what I mean? A bit of... Um, you know, a bit of leadership. I would have gone in there, gassed them all, beaten them up. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be taking the same approach as Pope is doing anyway. He's doing it all by the book. And sometimes you need to grab it by the nuts. You know what I mean? And do it your own way. And obviously that's supposed to be a private conversation. But this this guy's not even asked. He's just gone over and having a conversation with the Pope. And he's like, yeah, you know, maybe Bellic's right. We should do it his way. And obviously now um, the warden knows that he's kind of speaking bad about him in front of his superiors. You never want that as well. And so the thing is, yeah consistently throughout of it so far the pope's actually made some decent choices i know last episode the one before he was getting blackmailed and he nearly made like uh, a dodgy one transferring michael but he ended up making the right one in the end didn't he i don't think he's been a bad character and i think as well that sometimes if you're a good character so to speak in a high position that people try to undermine you and not respect you and i want him to actually take a stance and show that he's actually in charge so when bellic is actually trying to go behind his back and say stuff and try to like overpower him he actually shows that i'm the position in power do you know what i mean i'm the warden and you do as i say you can go and clean up or you can have the shit jobs for a couple of weeks do you know what i mean i'd be interested to see their relationship going forward as well but like i said interesting stuff they've broken through the wall they're ready to test the plan out even more you know the cops died he's been killed so an inquest is probably going to go on with that maybe they don't have enough time now to go in and out of the hole as they may please do you know what i'm saying and obviously maybe the doctor sarah is going to look more and more into the michael situation it's really interesting last two episodes have been great last episode was better but this one was really good as well if we can keep it up with this pace i'm going to be loving it thanks for checking out today's episode if you did enjoy it please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys